SR93 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. They say boxing's dead, but is it really? You know what, tomorrow, um, I'm in the UK right now, so right now it's, um, as I speak, it's 9.36, I just changed 9.37pm on 9th of December. You know, tomorrow's 10th of December and boxing is alive and well running in 10th of December. A whole bunch of there's a, lot of there's a lot of good fights, a lot of fights, a lot of names. Is a, there's not a, a whole lot of big big names. Actually, I take that back. There's some big names. Oh shit! Like I forgot this. Who Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fighting? Actually, there's some fights I didn't even know. Uh, let me go through all of them. Um, December 10th. David and Peralta. I mean, that's not a big fight to be honest with you. Berlin. Uh, yeah, it's not a big fight. There's no boxing match. Julio Cesar Chavez versus Dominic Brick. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> There's, you know, Eric Molina, Anthony Joshua. That's a big fight in the UK. I can't get. I wasn't able to get the tickets. Not because I don't have money. It's because I'm trying to save money and I can watch that on TV. And in the co main event for that, you already know who it is Derek Chisora. Versus uh, Dillian White. That's a big fight. That's really that should that's technically the main event because it's got to a point with all the tables going and shit. No one gives a fuck about the Joshua Molina fight as much. You know, Abner Morris is fighting on that day. John Molina's fighting on that day versus Terence Crawford. That's actually the fight I'm looking for. Like, because you know, in a way, that's the fight I'm really looking for. I think that'd be the most. Apart from the Chisora White, I think that Chisora White is the fight I'm looking for the most. And uh, apart from that, John Molina and Terence Crawford, that'd be a mega, that'd be a great fight. Because you know Chisora White, the reason why it's going to be a big fight is because it, I think it'd be a more competitive fight. They are kind of on a similar level, and you know they, they have similar, not the same style, but there's a lot of similarities in their styles. And you know the build up of the fight has been amazing. It's been one of the best build ups. UK boxing gives some of the biggest build up of fights and Derek Chisora, you know, always has a good build up. Billy White as well. They both came together. All that build up you saw, man. That was great, man. It was great. I, I can't wait to see the fight. I think Dylan White will win. John Molina, Terence Crawford. Who do you think is going to win? You know, I think um, in terms of John Molina, Terence Crawford, I think Terence Crawford's We'll pull it off. I think you know this would be an interesting fight because a lot of people say Terence Crawford is the king at 140, and I think right now he could be. He might just be, in my opinion. I think I'll pick Terence Crawford to be the king at 140 because Adrian Bronner he doesn't pull the trigger often, and that's the only reason why I don't pick. If if he pull the trigger often, I pick him the king of 140 of over Terence Crawford. But Terence Crawford, he's more consistent. He's more versatile. He can find front foot, back foot. He can box, he can bang, he can be a boxer puncher. He can move, he can sit in the box, he, he, he can do it all. Terence Crawford is definitely one of my favorite fighters. Uh, you know, so um, that's one of the biggest fights of tomorrow in terms of as a boxing fan. But Derek Chisora, Dylan White, that's the fight I'm looking forward to just because of the build up. Um, yeah, man, there's a lot of good fights, man. There's some names as well. Julio Cesar Chavez. Is that the, I, I didn't know that fight was going on. Um, yeah, Anthony Joshua, Eric Molina. It, it'd be, again, it'd be a good comparison fight to see who, how these fighters going to win. Like Eric Molina. Um, if Terence Crawford doesn't do as well as Adrian Bonner did. Because Adrian Bonner did uh, completely shut out John Molina. If Terence Crawford doesn't do that, it'd be like... You know, I mean, it'd be impressive. John Molina might come to fight a bit better than... Adrian Brunner, but there's still something to talk about that. Oh, Adrian Brunner did better than Terence Crawford against John Molina. Same thing with Anthony Joshua. If Anthony Joshua puts away, um, what's his name, Eric Molina, quicker than Deontay Wilder does, that would be something to talk about as well. And the fight between Joshua and Wilder might build up a lot better. That'd be a great fight, man. That'd be a great fight. Joshua Wilder, and you know, Derek Chisora, Dylan White, apparently is a um, eliminator for the number one mandatory spot for the WBC title. So, you know, that's another interesting thing. I think Deontay Wilder might just put him away, but who knows. Let's see, man. 
Do you think Joshua might put um, Eric Molina out quicker? Keep in mind, Eric Molina, he been with Wilder. I personally think he it will improve him because Eric Molina come, came the hard way. He has taken a lot of uh, difficulties in his uh, boxing career and his, his life as well overall. It wasn't easy for him. He didn't have a good amateur background and things like that, so he had to learn on his own. So I'm fairly sure he's learned from a lot of his mistakes. He can bounce back from losses. And I think the Wilder loss wasn't his only loss, obviously, in his um, career. So therefore, he could have, he probably learned a lot from it. And, you know, I think this will be a, probably a better version of um, Eric Molina we're going to see. But who knows, man? Because at the end of the day, it could actually negatively affect you as well. You might not be as confident. You might not want to get knocked out. Right? You might not have that type of confidence anymore. Let's see. I think he will be more a bit better, but I think Anthony Joshua might put him away a lot easier. Not be, not saying that Deontay Wilder doesn't punch hard enough. Simply because I think Anthony Joshua is a bit more. The way he comes in, to land a jab and a right hand is like, again less predictable. He's not as quick as Wilder in, Wilder in terms of um, single shots and things like that. But he's decently quick enough. He his timing is very good. Or consistently very good his accuracy is amazing and he goes to the body i think he's got good fundamentals he's a well-rounded better more well-rounded fighter in my opinion still not perfectly well-rounded i think he's got flaws in his games and i think eric molina can um offset that he can really beat he can not beat. he can put up a good fight against anthony joshua he can't beat joshua i mean anything can happen in the boxing ring Ian Eric Molina will be the biggest puncher he faces. It'll be, it'd be, you know, and if he gets on the inside, that'd be problematic for Joshua. That's really all I think, man. Let me know. I'm fairly sure I missed out a few fights, but that's all I have to say. I missed out 93 boxing. I'm out.